Last year was unquestionably the most difficult so far for Formula One's youngest team. But with lessons learned, can Haas return to form in 2020? You know, last year was tough, but I think we've learned a lot from it and uh, we've come out stronger and uh, I'm very positive and, you know, uh, hopeful that we'll uh, come back to our good level. The team's results in 2019 were hamstrung by a base misunderstanding of their car. And so both drivers have been given a stay of execution into 2020, despite their on-track antics often costing the team dear. No slip-ups will be tolerated in 2020. Kevin, the message from Gunter to both drivers is to calm down. So both drivers calm down. Kevin, the first one to come and see is me, please. With no major changes to the tech, team or design philosophy, the VF20 maintains many of its key Ferrari influences. Last year's VF19 struggled massively with its tyres, operating within a very narrow window. If that's transferred onto this year's car, the team will struggle once again. We learned the direction we need to go and uh, uh, we are pretty happy with uh, what we are seeing in the moment. Twenty twenty simply has to be better for the Haas F1 team. Indeed, the team's owner Gene Haas has said that if they don't discover their competitive form, he may have to question their continued participation in the sport. While it's far too early to know exactly where the team will fit into the competitive landscape, what is undeniable is just how important this season will be for the squad. Ultimately, only Gene Haas knows what his expectations are and whether they're realistic.